Welcome back to the Green Workbench. Today we're going to be building a three-tiered doll bunk bed. And the dimensions for our bunk bed are going to be for an American Girl doll. You can use it for any doll or you can change your measurements to fit the particular dolls you're making it for. Um, materials you need are these square dowels. So I need four 5 8 inch square dowels for my bed posts and I need six one half inch square dowels for the bed frames um, at a seventh as well for your rails and then two quarter inch round dowels are going to be used for the railing. You also need some eighth inch plywood or paneling for the base and that should be all you need. So we'll start measuring and putting together our cuts and uh, we'll start putting it together. Okay so to prepare my cut I'm going to cut both at once, mark it at 20 inches, line it up with my saw, clamp the two pieces to each end of my jig so they don't move while I cut and I'll go ahead and slowly cut through them so that I have two 20 inch pieces of the exact same length. I'm going to cut my end pieces at 11 inch using the same method and that will form a total of 12 because I have my half inch cut out for the posts on each side. Okay, so here I'm preparing for the corner braces. I already lined them up and made one 45 degree cut. Um, now that I measured over an inch and a half for each piece, line them up and I'm going to make the other side. And we need four of those for our corner braces. Okay, so it comes time to attach our angle braces. So we set it up where a post is going to go th through it right there. So I'm going to measure in a quarter inch on each side. That gives me a hole here for a screw later. And I'll glue and use a brad nailer to nail that angle brace in place and square. Okay, so we have one frame completed. The angle braces. Our pulse will fit right in there. Now we complete two more of those and we'll start attaching them to the posts. Okay, so the <clears throat> for the initial bed frame, we made angled corner braces. This time we're going to do a little bit differently and you can decide which one that you like better. So your first step is to take your long piece. We're going to measure in one quarter, make a mark, measure in one and make a mark. And then using 45 degrees, I'm going to pencil that out. And same thing for this one. And here we've got this triangle. So we're going to cut this out on a scroll saw. You got to make sure that you don't bypass this point. So we're going to cut that with the scroll saw and then we're going to cut from the leftover we're going to cut inch and a half pieces and those pieces 
will fit right into the notch. So we'll get working on the scroll saw. We have our first cutout. So we'll do that for all four sides and then repeat on the short pieces. Okay, we've got our cut and our half inch. So we're going to glue those in, nail them. Do that all the way around for all four sides. Okay, our next step is to cut the posts. So I've marked it at 24 inches. Cut all four at once so they're all the same. And then we'll measure, measure out where each of the three tiers of the bunk bed will be. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it now. Okay, so with my pieces still clamped together so I can mark them all at once, I'm going to come up Two inches will be the start of the bottom tier, and then measure up a half for the thickness of the tier. I'm going to go up eight inches, so to ten and a half, mark my half inch to eleven. Eight, eight, eight inches to nineteen, mark my half inch to nineteen and a half. So I'm going to take my square. And mark all the way across. And okay, so now I have each corner marked and I can start prepping it to attach each tier. Okay, so each piece I need to flatten this corner because I'm going to have a screw that goes through it from the corner braces. So I'm going to take my Dremel See and that creates a flat surface can Focus here There we go. So I'll do that for each one. And then we'll start drilling the pilot holes. Okay, so we had it all marked out. So I put glue on each end. And got it clamped down. And once that's dry, I'll drive a nail through it too just to keep it steady but we'll do that for all four sides and then work up to the next tier and then the next tier 
Okay, the glue is set, so now it's time to reinforce. So I'm going to find the center of this piece. And with a quarter inch drill bit, Drill down through the corner brace into the actual leg. I'm going to drop some glue. Into the hole. And then using my dowel. Punch that dowel straight through and cut off the top. Now I've got the second tier glued, so we'll let that glue set and do the same thing with the dowels in the corner braces. And then we'll do the same thing for the third tier. All right, my third tier is glued up and drying. So our next step is to cut the base of each bed. And I promise I did not purchase this wall paneling. I got it off of a friend. But anyway, it's the right thickness. So I'm going to rip it to the width of the bed and then I'll cut it to the length and and then after that, with the scroll saw, I'll cut the notches for all of the bed posts and so that it'll sit down and lay flat on those rails that I've glued onto the posts. Okay, the base is all cut out. So I've lined the whole thing with glue. Slide my base in. There we go. That lined up. And then punch in some half inch brads. Put a couple on each side all the way around and then we'll work on the second tier. Okay, so all three tiers are on. So I'm going to measure my space here. Which is about 10 and 15 sixteenths. I cut this piece. And then I'm going to measure up how far I want it at two and a half. I line it up here, clamped it, and then you can see on the side here, drill the hole, quarter inch, all the way through into this horizontal piece, and I'll use a dowel, and I did that on both sides. So that's the way that this is going to be connected, is with that dowel through that hole. Next, I'm going to cut holes for my rails. So I measured in an inch on each side, and then they are an inch and a half apart. So drill those holes there, 
make sure I don't go too deep, I put some tape on my drill bit so I know where to stop. Drill the same holes down here along the bottom. And now I have my dowel cut. Set those in. Line them up vertically. Pop it down. Pop my that put some glue, dowels in, clamp it, and let it dry. Okay, so I finished on both sides. And you have the option of doing that for each bed. Instead of doing that though, I'm just going to take a dowel. I've drilled it. I'm just going to put this dowel through there. And I'll do that for each, the first and second tier. So it's not the same as the top, but there's still some back protection. Okay, so the bed is all put together. And now we'll wait for the glue to dry, and then we'll sand it, um, fill all the nail holes, sand it down, and it'll be ready to paint. Now you can add any decorative embellishments that you want on yours. Um, you can put um, a ball on the top, or you know, some sort of decorative molding if you want, um, but the actual construction of the bed, the structure, is complete and you can customize it however you'd like. So we'll sand it and get it ready to paint.